In the closing comments, Freeholder Jala. Now, normally he's kind of a, a mild person, you know, doesn't really say much, kind of like a Kowalski, like a, a male Kowalski, let's say. Yeah. <laughs> That's brutal. <laughs> but anyway, but he, he made a comment. Council 8 there showed up in force. Council 8 is, is a union organization that, that does all the work in the trenches, on the roads. You know, they're the, the hard workers. They showed up because there's actually a rumor out there saying they're going to be laid off. So anyway, so, so the council re was represented by a counselor, or a lawyer, anyway. a lawyer. <laughs> and he spoke his piece. But, but they just sat there. Nobody said anything. They didn't cause any trouble, which was pretty good. Freeholders did thank, all thank them at the end. You know, thank you very much for showing up, Council 8. But anyway, they, but, well, they applauded us three times. Yeah, yeah, they did. But, but now Freeholder Jolly, now in his closing comments, he, he goes, you know, so he, so he listened, he listened to basically us and Summit talking about taxes, you know, we're, we're being killed by taxes, and then he listened to the lawyer of Council 8 saying, uh, you know, that you shouldn't cut any jobs because, you know, the families, and, and, you know, we have to at least maintain a good employer relationship, you know, and, and that everybody's hurting, they need jobs. So, anyway, so Jala comes out, Freehold Jala says, he says, well, now you see what the problems that we are facing. He says, one group is, is saying they want to keep their jobs. Another group is saying uh, we must decrease taxes. And, and now you see the dilemma we're in. See, and, and that's where it, it's, it's a nice sound bite that he said, but that's not the truth. The guys who are hard working should keep their jobs. And the people that are asking to cut the taxes, they should cut the taxes. They're not mu mutually inclusive and dependent on each other because, as we've mentioned many times before, there's a heck of a lot of other ways to save money. And, and laying off, yes, that could be a possibility, but not the people that are actually plowing the roads, digging the trenches, trimming the trees. You know, and, and yet he tries to make it sound like one group is fighting the other group. It's not. We actually have a mutual fight, and it's against the freeholders and their wasteful expenditures. And their political hacks on and the table. Maybe, maybe if the freeholder board did not vote to give 460 non-union county employees health, free health care for themselves and their families for life, then maybe the um, unionized employees wouldn't have a problem. Yeah, and what about now? What about Oak Ridge? You want to talk about Oak Ridge? Talk about the eight million, ten million dollars they're spending on Oak Ridge. There, there are many places we can cut um, in the budget. Uh, they're spending eight million dollars this year in developing the open space land at the old Oak Ridge Golf Course. We told it. We were told it had to close because it purportedly lost four four hundred thousand dollars. Now they're spending eight million dollars with a matching grant. Yeah, <laughs> twenty years of losses they could have easily sustained. Go figure. All right, thank you very much. <laughs>